Well, what do you think? How do you take your coffee? I take mine very seriously. I don't know about the rest of the, the people out there, but happy Friday, everyone. <laughs> this is October 27th, and it's the last day of October, and then starts November, which is the busy time of the year. But wait, before you get too busy, wrapped up in all of those items that are on your list to do for the month of November, take time out and celebrate with us because this is a special day and why is this a special day for us this is a special day because today is we started off with coffee with andy and tony and then we changed the name to the andy and tony show and uh, we've done 150 five out of 156 episodes in three years and we started this before we were married so i kind of knew what we were into so i had my chance to get out then <laughs> what we were into you mean what you got into yeah i knew what we were going to get in what i was going to get into by starting the show so here we are three yep. years later so <laughs> yeah. uh Happy birthday, Toby. No, it's no birthday. It's an anniversary. Okay, happy anniversary. Yeah, happy anniversary too, hon. Well. Yeah, this is the show's anniversary. Yeah. So. Yes. Yes, we've done a lot of different things. We've uh, set it up to do. Uh, we've been in many different places too. Yeah, yeah. We're spontaneous and, with our shows <laughs> and where we have it. <laughs> yeah, so we... Uh, have tried a few things here and there. We've techno technologically have fumbled and fumbled and and fixed and whatever, but got through everything. And uh, you know that's what happens with the live show. This is the, yes, we are not like national television and things like that. I don't have a crew of thirty-five people behind the camera making corrections when yeah. they're needed. <laughs> The only thing I have behind the camera is a 60, uh, a 57 inch flat screen monitor that we can see different things on there. And uh, it's just us. I mean, it's just been that way. One, uh, This has been a, a one couple show and uh, we've done well. I mean, uh, live shows, everyone has a different take on what they do. With us, we just wanted to have Good time with everybody and have a cup of coffee or whatever. And we've learned from this too. There's a lot, there's a lot that goes into this. A lot of people don't realize. The half hour on, on the show is it's like once we go live, that's the reprieve. But as soon as we shut off the camera, now we have to start thinking about the next episode. And uh and yeah. and, 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 and and like most content people. Uh, creators at, at, like us, they plan for it well in advance, like at least 24 hours before the show goes on. And mine is done at least an hour before the show goes on. So, and when it's mine. Uh -huh. Oh, you're, you're done earlier in the week, a couple days. Yes, yeah. So we're trying to turn over a new leaf and uh, look at what we've done. I should have like, a leaf. Yeah. But after three, this is after, this is the third year. We decided that we have to go uh, a little bit different in another direction because of other things that are applying to technology for us that we want to uh, not be so stressed. <laughs> like today, it didn't turn on no. when I was supposed to. That's I had to walk in and walk out. So that's okay. So uh, from this point forward, we are going to enjoy our time. And uh, we hope that people come in and see us. So far, no one's popped in the door here. You know, with the weather being beautiful, Tony, mm -hmm. you have to talk about that. Because oh. we are past the heat heat. And this is the time uh, to go outside and work on the yard before you would have to get up early, before the sun comes out and roasted you. But now you could actually do it throughout the day. So... Uh, throughout the week, last week, I did go out and spruce up the uh, front part of the house 
and now I have the outline of where I want to put my Christmas lights. But that's the key thing. And then I did something else. What you uh, did? Tony has a leaf blower, so I backed the car out onto our drive on her on the street, and I started to blow it all out, all between everything. I blew out the garage and got rid of it. And we had this old rug. Believe it or not, <laughs> I've had this rug for about 14 years, because I remember moving it in. That's the big, gigantic one. And I found a funny thing. I dragged it out to the driveway, and I thought to show you this. <laughs> and before, I'd just kind of shaken it, but it was falling apart, and I, was, I didn't know I didn't have it made up that I was gonna get me a new one. But I put the leaf blower underneath it, and it was flapping. So it was shaking it out for me. So then I turned it around at the other end and did that. And then naturally, I had to turn it over and do it at both ends. So the <laughs> leaf blower... Turned it over. We got to make the noise, the special effects. <laughs> okay. So the leaf blower was actually banging out my um, rug, but I ended up tossing another one, and I couldn't stand that. But I immediately went to uh i shopped two different places on the internet and got me a a new rug to put as you step out of the garage from the house to the garage that's where i like to have something for all of our outside shoes to be there and in the meantime i just had a towel and i text tony i go don't be concerned just leave the towel there i have something to replace it so that was kind of funny I didn't realize that the blower was doing that for me. She and had a lot of power in her hands with that blower. <laughs> yeah. And it was funny, when we first hooked it up, she hooked it up, I stopped by, and she goes, it doesn't work. Well, we had it set up before to suck up the leaves until the the pouch tore a hole in it. So I that took it all apart, yeah. and we didn't do nothing about it. So I'm looking, well, what's it? She's got it plugged in. It, it it doesn't work. The There's bottom. a little latch that you've got to, it's open and you hook the, the pouch in there and then it'll suck everything to that. Otherwise, when you close it up, it now blows air the other way. And that's what I wanted. Yep. So then it was working. And then she was a happy camper. Now, Tony and I also did a funny thing uh, one night. It oh. was a, a, a funny thing that on Tuesday nights I go... Oh. To the club and i play some cards with some some ladies and i can't say pure ladies because there is a a husband there and i came home from playing the cards and then tony had on this program and it was on youtube okay and it, the youtube was showing secret menu of in and out burgers yeah. so as i was coming in he had it going so it looked pretty interesting so i sat down and looked watched it you know something the more i watched it the more and this was about nine o'clock at yeah. night time okay yeah. we already had dinner earlier and the more i watched that video the more i wanted to go go get a um in and out burger with fries yeah so the more it, so, but i couldn't get the burger out and the fries out of my mind so do you know what we did what? Duh. Duh. We did it. <laughs> You're right. I looked at Tony and he could tell the look yeah. on my face. Yes, we're going. Well, she does this thing where she goes to her purse, she consults her bank account, <laughs> and she goes, oh, we still got entertainment money. She goes, look, we can go to in and out <laughs> oh, and, uh, and I'm like, oh, I wasn't feeling good. So I said, yeah, well, I'll take you there so she can have her cheeseburger. Yes, and, that's all and, I wanted and fries and what did and you have i decided because we saw the show well i like to have a chocolate shake all the time but what happened was i didn't realize this you could order your shake either chocolate vanilla or strawberry or you could order it what they Neapol call black and white so Neapolitan. that's black and white that's chocolate and vanilla or you can order it neapolitan which is all three flavors and when you oh, before you put the lid on it, you can look at it, and it looks 
All three flavors. Yeah, it showed so all three flavors. I had the Neapolitan, and that was all so good. And it was amazing how many people were there yep. at between 9 and 9.30 last night. So, so so that's what we did. Yeah, so that was, yeah. And then <laughs> the next day, Wednesday, I had to take my mom to uh, an eye doctor, a retina doctor. And uh, I told her about, I told her the last time we went out and had in and out she goes, oh, but I want that. I haven't had that in a long time. So I said, okay, well, we'll go. So Tuesday night was Andy's night to get a burger there. Wednesday for lunch, it was my mom and me. It was my turn to get my burger. And my mom got to have a cheeseburger with grilled onions on it. She liked that. And then a little bit of fries. That's all she wanted. So I bought the number one that's on the menu. And I told them I wanted it um, animal style, which is not on the menu, but that's part of the secret menu. Right. <laughs> uh, so we had that, and uh, I had a soda, and my mom had water, and she just took some fries, and we ate ourselves there, and they give you a ton of fries. So uh, we did not get paid for this this um, <laughs> acknowledgement of the show of the of the restaurant called In and Out Burgers, but we but I love, love them. them. Yeah, and another them. tidbit a lot of people don't realize: all the other fast foods, it's frozen meat that's delivered to them, and then they end up doing it. And there was a thing that one company they were buying their meat from all over the world, like from Australia and stuff like that. It had Aussie meat, which means it had kangaroo meat in there too, mixed in. So you gotta watch out what you buy and where you buy it from. Now, uh, it is amazing because like Costco will make you apple juice. And you read, it comes from Washington apples, New Zealand, and Australian apples. What's with this picture? It's all over the world. And then they ship it here and then they sell it for, you know, in a, in a low price. I don't know how they do that, but they do. So, we just enjoyed that night and that day. My mom had, she's, she had a problem with the retina, and they said it's swollen. So, oh, I got to watch. They stuck a needle in to numb it, and then they stuck another needle in to give her medicine. So we got to take her back on the end of November, and she's got to get another test checked and things like that. And if it doesn't go down, then it's another set of shots. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's, you know, it's, that was her. Uh, One incident. Yeah. Well, that happened with both you and I before oh, that. That oh, was yeah. the in and out. Oh, yeah. We had one late night right after we got married. There was a thing that um, we, she was just all of a sudden had this urge late at night. At what time was that? Oh, it was after midnight. I think it was 2.30. Yeah. It was before. Something like that. So uh, at that time, I said, the only thing that's open is Jack in the Box. Yeah. And you can buy this Midnight Madness whatever meal. So she said, let's go. So we went there and ordered it, and we sat in the parking lot and wolfed it down. <laughs> so, we yes, uh, you know, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah. Well, once how, a year, how many something of like you that do something weird in the middle of the night? Yeah. And it's just so bizarre. It's not something that you would do on a normal basis. No. but. Yeah. Well, I want to introduce, uh, we have Einer watching us. Thank you. We have Judy watching us. And Hi, Bill. Judy. And, yeah, uh, Judy and Bill. Yeah. That's well, no, because... no, no, no. Bill oh, Spangler. Bill. Bill I, Spangler. I, I give you a name. It's a separate person. Oh, okay. And I can say it, the full name, or I can just say the first name. So No, no. We thank you guys for coming on board well, there. Well, when you say Judy yeah. and Bill, I know well, those two go together. No, because she doesn't have a Bill. Yes, she does. Her husband's name Judy? Bill? Yes, that's why. Oh. Why did I think his name was something else? No, it is Bill. Yeah. Yeah. But either way, mm -hmm. hi, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> it's glad to see and, you. And Judy's Bill and Bill Spangler. Two different states, okay? One's in California. Yeah. One's yeah. in... Where's Bill at? Spangler? Idaho? I think so. Yeah. Or Montana. No, okay. not Montana. Iowa. Okay. No. All right. No, it's Idaho. Maybe he'll tell us. Yeah. So... That, um, but the week's gone by. We last week we were at the Danish church and we were making the round Danish pancake balls called Ebleskiver, and it was a fundraiser for them for the Huga Fest. Come on, how do you say it? Huga Fest. There you go. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Nope. 
Oh, I don't. We, once is enough. So we it was beautiful weather there too, and we had a lot of fun there with different people. And um, another thing that oh. I do every so often, we have a neighbor across the street, and her and I, we have known each other since we since she, she moved in. But we get together about once a month, and we have happy hour. And then the next time we got together, we not only have happy hour. But then we watch a movie, so I always have to make sure that it's a time, which is quite frequently, but not all the time. I always have to choose a time where he is working in the studio along, because we start our happy hour at 4 o'clock, and then we'll move over to the another part, and we watch a movie. So that gives me an out, and she's a neat friend of mine. I have to interject. When she says happy hour... It's the glasses of wine. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, we have snacks too. And, and no one drove that day. Because I just she walk walked across the street. <laughs> and then she stands there watching me yeah. till I open up the garage door and turn around and wave. So that yeah. we, then she knows that I'm in there. Thank you, Bill. Idaho was the answer. Okay, you are yeah. right. So. Thank you. Um, yeah, we go from Idaho. I mean, we go from California to Denmark to Idaho. I mean, we can also name other places, too. But oh, yeah. It's amazing, Chicago. all the different... Chicago, and Texas. Yeah, Texas, yeah. We have yeah. a lot of people in different areas that watch us. Mm -hmm. So, our 14 viewers... No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... But it's yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, and, and again, we provide this show because we like to put on just some local talk and what we're doing. So if you are not interested in our lifestyle, there's always the view with those ladies, or you can watch the news, the snooze, as, as my sister would call it. Um, we don't have regular TV anymore. We stopped that. We pulled the plug right after we got married, huh? Or right before. Yeah. Because, because she had... My late the, husband and I, we never had it. They had everything. They had ESPN, uh, all the sports. They had we did have the channels. sports. So you had a lot of channels. So we but cut we out. We cut out the cable part or the yeah the the TV part of our service and only kept the internet part. And then through that, we've been able to manage having just YouTube, uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, Netflix, because that Netflix came with oh, her. Oh yeah, yeah. And we've had Disney Plus. Now Disney Plus is going to go by the wayside. Disney. All I'll say about them, since they're having all these problems in life, their attitude is raise the prices, raise the prices. We're in trouble. Raise the prices. So they're not getting another dime out of me. So and Andy, we're, we are now going to do that. Uh -huh. So. Once in a while, I like well, to look oh. on Facebook and see recipes, but then they want you to join them, and I don't like to join them, so I remembered the, the name of it, so I went onto the internet, and I typed in crock pot cheesy spinach and tomato tortinellis. So I found it, and I remembered there were three of them that I could choose from, but I remembered the, the different uh, ingredients that they had. So I, I pulled that one up and printed it, and I I made it a couple of days ago, and I loved it. Of course, I'm a health nut, and I like uh, different variety types of things. And so Tony and I had it for the evening time, and uh, uh, all I can say is that I loved it, Oh, okay. Yeah. And Tony just ate it. So that's it. It was okay. I have a very bland type diet. I yes, mean, I like do. spicy stuff and sweet stuff, but, but not spicy. Not spicy. I mean, I, well, I'll eat, you know, curry with rice and chicken, but the curry has to be semi mild. And I'll eat sushi with the uh, wasabi. That's about it for my spiciness. And then. In the Mexican side, I'll eat the salsa, salsa but it's got to be mild. Mild. Same so, here. You know, I can't 
I can't eat anything. And when we go to a restaurant, they go, oh, it's mild. And I'm like, <laughs> after I took some, I said, you guys don't know what mild is. So we just, you know, uh, we have different type of taste buds. Now, yes, we Andy do. and her daughter, Kelsey, they'll go to a tie. Is it a tie? I think so. With the Thai family. Food. Yeah. yeah. And they... We do the four. If they, yeah. If they, it goes up to five, they do the four, and I'm a minus two. And the family <laughs> does one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's what we but, do. But there's all these different things that, that food is such an intricate thing in our life. Yes, I know. And, and you know, I tell people, you know, I've lost some weight, and I did it because I keep making sure I eat three meals a day and that I uh, have a snack in between. So, and it's not how much. Time wise. Oh, don't worry. Um, okay. That's 940. Let's see. Uh, 950 is when we end. So we have yeah, 10, 10 more minutes. minutes. Yeah. Okay, so we may have to. Wow, the time went by fast. Yeah. I know. Well, it's 20 after, so it'll be 20 till, which is that. Yeah. yeah. Um, we just uh, tell people that you, it, it's not how much you, and then I've reduced. Now, I don't know what it is, but my food intake has gotten smaller and smaller. Well, naturally. At, at times. But because I don't feel good and I just don't feel everything tastes like blah to me. But I. Uh, Probably the meds that you're going yeah, through. Yeah, that's been part of it. And the pain with my knee. And that was my update on my, on my knee. I saw my doctor, knee doctor. He took x rays. He goes, everything looks good. And uh, he goes, I'll see you whenever. You know, that's. He didn't, they said, we're not going to schedule anything unless you hurt yourself. That's the only time I'll see you. And he looked, we looked at the other knee and he goes, you won't need knee replacement for that. So that was a blessing for me. And with my heart, everything's still looking good. It could be years down the road before I have to have my valve fixed. My murmur, my Well, I can just valve. turn off the valve. Yeah. Shut the spigot off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so health-wise, once I get my knee back into full motion that I'm done with that but they tell they say it takes up to, it could take up to a year and some people can do it overnight not not overnight they do it in about three months four months but they used to say six months to a year it'll take and so I just I that that was an elective surgery and that punished me enough I don't need no more elective surgery well it, it was causing problems and giving me pain um we have uh you want to talk about well uh, i was going to do it all on today is the national history day of the breadsticks all hail the humble breadstick of national breadstick day an annual event on the last friday of october breadsticks are slender sticks of baked crisp dry goodness invented in italy aside from their crunch the best thing about breadsticks is that they could be eaten as an appetizer, or you could dress them up with all manner of embellishments, uh, uh, marinara sauce, um, uh, ranch dressing, or even put roll them in um, some cinnamon and some sugar, but either way. So, um, let's see. I want to talk about gift pass. This. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. What? She's getting into business now, moving the paperwork around. Okay. There you go. You're on. <laughs> oh, I have. It seems the original breadsticks known as Grisia, Grisana, Grisini, Grisini, originated in the, I should have you read it, uh, originated uh, in Italy yeah. in the late 1600s. Mm -hmm. One such telling, uh, this is a they can't prove that it's a real thing, but is that there was a young duke, a veto, turned nine. He had already suffered from intestinal disorders that affected his ability to eat as well as his physical development. His mother asked the court physician to find a remedy to help her son. The physician had great in intelligence, pinned the blame on food poisoning, in the bread polluted by path, pathogenic intestine germs. So the doctor himself had suffered from 
similar effects. So in time, what he did is that he had his mother uh, make the bread and gave it to the son, and the son was healed. He didn't have to do it. The doctor asked a local one, and did it heal him? No one really knows, but that still makes a great story. Breadsticks are really cure them. Yeah, no one really knows, but it does. But uh, I thought about buying breadsticks at a store, and nowadays they want heavy butter, heavy garlic. I kept trying to find uh, breadsticks that were plain, and then they said one fun thing that you could do is take a group of three or four people and go to a restaurant. I know I'm watching yeah. uh, a restaurant and say, we only want to order uh, breadsticks because we are uh, doing a survey who has the best. So you're one of the three restaurants that we're going to go to. And because those are plain, not with gooey butter and garlic. Well, I tried some here at the grocery <laughs> store, and they were nothing but soak and stop and butter and garlic. I put them in the toaster oven because it said to do it, and it just bleh, made the house stink galore. So they're out in the garage sitting out there, yep. and I blew out the house because I couldn't stand the smell of heavy, heavy garlic. Now, with us, you know, we always find something every week, and... We've been doing this for a long time. Then all of a sudden, about six or eight months ago, we were watching KTLA News, and they started doing the the, the thing of the day. There's a couple journalists that are on there, and they'll use it. When they're on there, they'll say something from for that. that for that day, day, yeah. Like, today is National American Beer Day. Yeah. It's also National Black Cat Day. Yeah. Bandana Day. Cranky Coworker Day. Uh, Frankenstein Day, Global Champagne Day. Oh, oh I yeah. was thinking about champagne. Oh, oh, you're gonna do that? Well, look yeah. at this. Put it where your coffee mug is. Change, change. There you go. Look at that. Well, raise it up. Carlsberg. Well, uh, yeah. There it is. There it is. I'm gonna turn to see Carl's. Carlsberg. Pilsner. Yeah. Yes. I'm that saving is, that yeah, beer because it's a big I, one. I hope she. I cares. may give him so, a couple of steps. So the thing is, she wrote National Breadstick Day. She tried that, uh -huh. and it was like, oh, everything was terrible. It's also National Henry C. Oh, we don't want to do it. National no. Mentoring Mentoring Day, National Farmer Buyer Day. See, everybody can create a national day, and uh, there's Navy Day, Nevada Day. But these are all the days Statement for Thursday. today. Yeah. Friday the 27th. Um, so we'll I, go through. I, was, I almost did it on Lemur Day. Yeah, and I was looking at World Day for Audiovisual Heritage. Yes, I figured you would. And then there's different people. It was yeah. their day their day today. Yeah. And we, we don't do little people's days. No. When it's their birthday. But, uh, no, it's, it's a lot of interesting tidbits that we have here. So, uh, got to get back. Got to get back. Where did I lose everything? Back Ooh. to here, back to full screen, back yeah. to where we were, and I can't let put my beer back in. Yep. <laughs> so let it cold. we enjoyed our anniversary of just babbling like we normally do, and uh, if you guys can tolerate thirty minutes of that, good for you. <laughs> well, I want to tell you happy anniversary. Mm, happy anniversary, and happy Ooh, anniversary to everybody. Yeah. There, I gave everybody a kiss out there. <laughs> And thank you for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you guys every week. Uh, the people come in live. That's extra bonus for us because at least we see we got some live bodies. And we thank everybody who watches the replays. And remember, our show is for seniors. And anybody can watch it. So We love oh, you guys. We really do. We got this guy lurking. I know this guy. Who's that? So it's Preston. Oh. Honduras. I'll see. He sneaks in once in a while and does something. So I just want to thank everybody. Oh, do you know why? Because you're time to call him. No, not today. Tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, you're on the wrong day. You know, she'll take a nap after this show, and she'll wake up, and she'll go, is it Saturday? Did I miss something? <laughs>
So well, who are you going to be talking to after the show? Nobody. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Okay. Um, don't worry about now it. I'm, now I lost my thing. So, so again, we're thanking everybody. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, my squirrel just is running yeah. around pretty fast today. So with that being said, we want to say goodbye. Thank you very much. And you have a nice day.